Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of radical equations where we are going to solve an interesting equation x power 1 over 3 plus x power 1 over 9 equal to 30. While solving this problem, I will use exponent, properties of exponent, synthetic division method, the splitting of constant term and we will use quadratic equation quadratic formula to conclude our result. So let's get started by writing the first method of solving this equation that is synthetic division method. But before that I will write our equation as 1 raised to the power 1 over 3 plus x raised to the power 1 over 9 equal to 30. Okay. Now find out LCM of the numbers which are written in the denominators power of the denominator. So LCM of 3 and 9 that would be equal to 9. Now our substitution path is very clear that is I will give substitution x is equal to t raised to the power LCM that is 9. Now our equation will convert into x or let me write in terms of t t raised to the power 9 whole power 1 over 3 plus t power 9 whole power 1 over 9 equal to 30. Now the property of exponent will come that is a power b whole power c can be written as a power b c. So this value will convert into t power 3 plus t minus 30 equal to 0. Okay. So this is our cubic polynomial. Now I will solve this cubic polynomial using two different methods. First is synthetic division and second one is splitting of constant term. So for synthetic division we should know first rule. So find out that value we can write using rational root theorem we can find out the factors of 30 as the leading coefficient is 1. So let's write those factors those would be eligible factors plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 5 plus minus 6 plus minus 10 plus minus 15 and plus minus 30. So among these solutions among these factors we will have our one root. So how we can check we can check by putting the values. So randomly if I will check plus minus 1 plus minus 2 won't satisfy. Let me see, let me put t equal to 3. As you can see 3 cube is 27 plus 3 minus 30. This is satisfying the equation. So t equal to 3 is our base root or base solution, first solution. Now I will apply synthetic division. How it will work? I will write here 3 t equal to 3. Then I will write the coefficient of the cubic polynomial. t cube coefficient is 1. t square term is missing so 0. t is there with coefficient 1 and constant is minus 30. Then I will take leading coefficient as it is. Now take the product. 3 times 1 3. 3. 3 times 3 9. 10. 10 times 3 30. 0. So factors of the given cubic equation is now known. Factors are t minus 3 because t equal to 3 is one root and second one is t square plus 3t plus 10 equal to 0. Now I am going to solve this quadratic equation for our solution. Second approach to get this quadratic factorization See, right now we can solve using splitting of constant term. Let us take that one first. So that is second approach. T cube plus T minus 30 equal to 0. So I can split this 30 as T cube plus T. I can write minus of 27 plus 3. Then I can take t cube minus 27 here plus t minus 3 here. Then I can see it is t cube minus 27. 
that is 3q so aq minus bq formula so a minus b a square plus b square plus ab so 3d okay so this value if i will put over there and t minus 3 would be common so let me write if t minus 3 here and t square plus 3t plus 9 plus t minus 3 now i will take t minus 3 completely out let me take t minus 3 common out so i will get in bracket t square plus 3t plus 9 plus 1 from where I am getting 1 because t minus 3 is common. Once I will take out then this place will leave 1 equal to 0. So t minus 3 t square plus 3t it is same quadratic equation which we calculated using synthetic division also. Now again t will be equal to 3 and quadratic equation if you will solve t will be equal to minus b so minus 3 plus minus a square root b square 9 minus 4 ac minus 40 over 2a 2 so minus 3 plus minus 40 minus 9 so that would be negative 31 so negative means i square so i will come out Important point is this is complex solution and we are looking for real solutions only. Complex solution. So this value of t will be rejected. So this value we will reject. Okay. So which value is accepted right now? That is t equal to 3. Now what is the value of t? what we initially substituted that is x is equal to t power 9 so the value of x would be 3 power 9 now only we have to check the answer or verification so x will come out 3 power 9 all right what was our substitution that was x is equal to t power 9 so once you calculate t that is 3 so we will substitute here so it is coming out 3 raised to the power 9 let's verify this value so i will write verification x is 3 power 9 let's put over there here so 3 power 9 whole power 1 over 3 plus 3 power 9 whole power 1 over 9 so that value will come out 3 power 9 times 1 over 3 by the exponent property 9 times 1 over 9 so this will give us 3 power 3 plus 3 power 1 or 3 so this is 27 plus 3 which is equal to 30 equal to RHS hence verify so final answer becomes x is equal to 3 raised to the power 9. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.